I'm Megan Needham and um, I've worked here on the family farm since I left school. Um, the farm's been in our family for three generations now, so I'm the third generation. Um, we have recently been having a lot of trouble with dog attacks. I mean, it's not just us, it's all around the country. But recently, since the 1st of January, we've had 10 um, dog attacks, which have been quite severe. You know, your dog could just go in the field and it could just be running around after the sheep thinking it's funny. But unfortunately, sheep are stressy animals. Their natural instinct is to run. Um, they get upset and they get frightened easily. So when they get that stressed, um, they can just drop dead. At this time of year, um, obviously they're in lamb and they can abort the lambs. So that means that obviously we're losing uh, one or two um, possibly three. We do ask people to please put dogs on leads, going through farmers fields, if you can see livestock or not, um, even if you think that your dog's you know under control and very obedient, there's just that one off day that you know its natural instincts might kick in. It's horrible to see you know the emotional side of it all is horrible. At the end of the day we farm 365 days a year, we don't get a day off or a Sunday off um, and to, to see your livestock and your animals that you care and work for, for this happening is just horrendous. At the end of the day, this is our livelihood, it's our living, and it is the financial side too. It is a big financial impact. We've saved up all our savings from leaving school, basically, um, to be able to afford to buy our own flock. Everything we put into our sheep is our, our own financial like burden, so anything that when we're having a sheep attacked we don't have anything like to come back on and we're meant to be the future of farming and when things like this are happening it's just upsetting and really does make us want to just go and sell up